right, uh, welcome to uh, our series of blogs on how to create a really good new starter induction. We have our induction specialist, a guy called Gareth Hill from Burnell Training here to answer the questions that I'm going to ask him today. So, Gareth, how are you doing? Very well, thanks Ian, very well. Excellent. Are you ready for the questions? Definitely bring them on. Brilliant. Okay, so my first question is... What are the three key elements to a really successful new starter induction? That's great, actually. Uh, from my perspective and from our experience, uh, the first one that springs to mind is a clear purpose. The understanding what you want to gain from having an induction, what you feel you need to achieve a great ex induction experience, that sets it out. So having a clear purpose, that's number one. Number two, ultimately, it's preparation. Yeah, we, we were obviously expecting that to appear here and that's, uh, you know, not going to let us down. We need to know what tools, what skills, what experience and resources are available. Uh, and that kind of brings us on to number three. And this is all about your team. And that is, you know, you have a, a, a series of resources available to you at all times uh, from your training team, your marketing team and all of those uh, different people. And those skills will be imperative really to the success of this project. Okay, great. Excellent answers. So what else needs to be done? Well, here I think uh, it's all about research. The more time we put into understanding where are we right now? What is the experience that a customer um, you know, gets? What is an experience a new starter gets? And we can then start to kind of understand all of the elements within the business. What is it we want to achieve? Who's going to attend? Is it everybody? Who gets to speak? Who controls it? Who manages it? You know, there's a lot of preparation that goes into it and research will pay dividends in the long run. So who would be good to speak to internally? I think you've got a vast amount of people that will offer some really good insight. You have your managers um, who ultimately will be the people that deal with the new starters. So they'll be able to tell you how well equipped they are from day one, what they offer, what they do, how well they do it, and maybe what the skills gaps are that will ensure that you will uh, be able to design an induction that sits well with everybody within the business when they start. I think also you can speak to the people that have recently joined you know, from the last three or six months or even longer and get some real good feedback about their joining experience. What did they feel it needed to have? What would have been great on day one? What skills, knowledge, experience uh, would have actually helped them to have a better start and maybe serve your customers in a far more effective way when they hit the phones or start dealing with them over the phone, face to face, all of those different experiences. Okay, great stuff. Thanks very much, Gareth. So next time, uh, we're going to be talking about Gareth and ask him some questions around preparation and how preparation is key in having a really successful new starter induction. Thanks very much, Gareth. Thank you, Ian. Thank you.